French 3 Tech Campus and then Chem and then first semester of Sci-Fi. Um, I get up, well, start of the year, 5.45, and then it gets later and later, and then I get to school about like 7.15, go to French. Well, that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to go to French and go to Tech Campus, then come back, go to lunch, then go to Chem, go to Sci-Fi, then go home. Wow, how time flies. Not only the last few months of high school, but think of all those years of activities. Birthday parties, soccer games, family vacations, visiting NIU, go Huskies, card games, homecoming, Halloween, gingerbread making, getting beat up by your brother, putting Crystal in a headlock, snake charming, ooh, fashionista, uh, world traveler, crowned, eating whipped cream, and building castles, getting into trouble, uh, figuring out badminton, uh, scraping the brains out of pumpkins, video recording, uh, gunning and praying and playing and defying gravity, uh, baking cookies, and of course, being an actress. Man, I'm tired just from reading that, and that's not everything. Ah, oh, yes, Tinkerbell. This was my pet pink toed tarantula, and Janelle and uh, Tinkerbell got along really well. It's quite amazing, but this big tarantula wasn't a problem. Okay, apparently this can be best described as a paradox. Janelle doesn't have any problem with a giant hairy tarantula crawling on her. However, these tiny little spiders in the house freak her out. I'll get a phone call. Yeah, a phone call from within the house. I might be one room down. Jeff, Jeff, come kill this spider. Okay, this is a problem that's been ongoing since way back when I first moved in. Here's some footage of Janelle as she thinks she spots a spider on the wall but it's actually a fly. Guys, look at the spider. Where is it? Find him on there? Oh wait, that's really freaky. I will if we kill that spider. Janelle. Are you getting get him, Jeff? <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, look how weird that spiders. was. i never seen a spider with wings. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that's a strange looking spider. Mm-hmm. You know what? Maybe it is a fly. <laughs> I knew it was a fly. What are they teaching you in school? No, I knew it was a fly. I just was <clears throat> making sure that you... Sure. We all know spiders <laughs> have eight legs. <laughs> Insects have six legs. Spiders do not have wings. You know what, Jeff? So that footage was from the early years. Before we had iPhones. You know, the iPhone came out in 2007, but who would ever buy a phone from a desktop computer company? <laughs> really. So those videos were done with our handheld camcorder with videotape. Back then in 2008, Janelle was really into singing. One of the most repeated songs heard in the hallowed halls of our home was Tomorrow. Um, it's Janelle. I'm going to play, or I'm going to sing a song um, 
called Tomorrow. It's by Annie. So in the play, you know. But for three, two, one. The sun will come out tomorrow. Fetch your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Wow. The sun will come out tomorrow. Fetch your bottom dollar that tomorrow. There'll be sun tomorrow. So you gotta hang on. Jimmy! In later years, nightly Taylor Swift sessions could take place in the upstairs bathroom. It's another day and another shower. Janelle always had showmanship talent. Whether that was singing or acting in front of the camera, she certainly was not shy to perform. In 2006, we purchased an iMac, which had a built-in camera and video recording software called Photo Booth. It allowed you to do these video manipulations really easy. Janelle and her friends would perform and record themselves in front of that camera for hours. Man, all the material that was recorded could fill a Blu-ray disc. Here are some highlights. Scientist. Girl, please. You be tripping. As you can see my big head. You be tripping. Hi, people. Hi. People make fun of my individualities. Hi. Oh, it's Tally Lester. People just make fun of it. I'm dizzy. <laughs> Whatever happened. One, two, three. Ow! Oh. My mom is vacuuming. Really, Polly Oli? Polly Oli. We get invites like all the time. Your name is Caitlin. I'm Janelle. Janelle. Some interesting friends. Why do you keep doing everything I'm doing? Oh, I started. Oh, I'm sure one. Oh, oh, going away, going away. Friends. I like Friends. Ah, uh, yeah. The rerun from the 90s, right? Yes. You know, which char which characters do you like? I like all of them. Yeah. Well, why is that? That, that show is so well written. Like, every character has their own, like, like, individual personality. It's awesome. How often is it that I'll walk into the kitchen, just like I'm doing right now, and I'll notice this? Whoa! What is this? Cups? Dirty cups? Dirty silverware? Of course Janelle is not perfect. 
I know she really seems perfect when you just look at her, but these dishes in the sink would drive me nuts. This became such a problem. In my loving and sarcastic way, I did what any sane person would do. I created a YouTube tutorial on proper operation of the dishwasher. This is a Maytag dishwasher. You'll notice that it's located conveniently just to the right of the sink where dirty dishes tend to accumulate. You know, nothing really complicated, just kind of like, hey, you know, this is, part, uh, this is how you load dishes. And uh, what you do is dirty dishes are placed in various locations within this device. Plates and more vertical items go here where you can fit cups and shorter, shorter type items can go up at the top shelf. Yeah, peanut butter was a big problem for a while and that would just stick on everything. But anyway, uh, this was the tutorial on loading the dishwasher. I think I was really just bored that day. I'm about what you to about drop to kick all y'all. I don't think you want to get me brush on Yeah, and your, your cool clothes. I'm going to see the midnight showing of um, Twilight 4. About the movie, expectations? Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. Crystal, oh. what? Oh my god, Janelle's driving. Yeah. Checking the mirror. Yeah. Did you check under the car and the oil pressure and all that? The tire pressure? Yeah. Janelle. I'm sorry, I just. You're slacking already. Before you got in the car, did you check the back seat? Yeah. How far are you at? Dang! Great stop! Country Thunder, school, and sleeping. One thing that stood the test of time is Janelle's ability to sleep. This talent comes naturally to her, and she takes much pride in it. She could sleep anywhere, and often would. The couch was her favorite place for this activity. At four in the afternoon or early in the morning, she could be found on the couch, passed out. Of course, she could sleep anywhere, like in our bed, but normally she would be on the couch. The only creature that could outsleep her is Crystal. Okay, here's a typical couch pose. Blanket, stuffed animal, and leg wrapped around a cushion. That's her typical low energy day. For a completely uh, crashed pose, it's just flat out on your back, trying to put a pillow over your face to block out the world. Uh, this is another classic uh, couch hug pose. Arm wrapped around uh, the cushion, face buried into the cushion, sleeping sideways. Uh, this is a typical cuddle pose where you, you know you have a big comfy blanket and a stuffed animal. This is rather unique because it is a double-sided uh, couch hugging pose with a spotter. Crystal is acting as the spotter during this exercise. And uh, yeah, that can't be comfortable. I'm not sure how he's... it just looks weird. Sleepy head, close your eyes, mother's right. Janelle, let's hear a few things on there. Or Ryan, you want to read it? No, she can. <laughs> no, you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number one, jump down the chimney like Santa Claus. <laughs> Number two, ask out your dream person. <clears throat> Don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> Number three, have a tiger as a pet. Four, skydiving. Five, climbing. <laughs> Into the... No, cliff jump. Cliff jump. Cliff jump. Alrighty. Six, fulfill your dreams. Our dreams. Seven, have a slow dance with a celebrity. Eight, pull a prank on the teacher. Thumbtacks on their side. I'm often very astounded by what a teenage girl needs in order to live in our modern society. Let's take a look at uh, this bathroom here. And this bathroom here is where Janelle uh, does her thing every day, such as showering. And look at this, if we take a look at the shower. Now this is just her bathroom. 
I don't know about you, but in the shower I have shampoo, maybe some shaving cream, um, soap. That's about it. So we got this gadget up here first, and we got this this thing to put on your head because we often want to shower and actually not clean parts of our body at the same time. And then we have two scrubbers, and then we have a multitude of razors. There's like one, two, three razors and a comb in there. And then there's this thing, which is really hard and it's like rough. It's like sandpaper. You could probably sand the deck with this. And in this container, there's some green crap. I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like something you'd put in a salad. Then you've got this. And then down here, you've got some more stuff. So we got that soap thing there. And then we got this down here, just sitting here, clear pour. But then we have all of this with two, with another comb and another razor. So there's like four razors and two combs. And you don't forget this. We got some other stuff um, right here. Um, natural oil, and this is some type of coconut lime scrub. So let's count the bottles. So we got two right here, two. And then here we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen bottles, three razors, two combs, two scrubbies, a thingamajigger to put on your head, and that's for one person. Walk your shoulders and forward. That's common. Especially because you guys... <laughs> you walk and you're like, you guys carry those bags. I had to learn that quickly because I was in big therapy. Yes. Yes. Oh. Action move. Go. This is video right now. So I'll smile. All these combs. Okay. Why are there so many? Just different tooth size? Yeah, I guess. Probably because they get dirty too. Like... Alright, let's see the heads. Mm. Ah! That's creepy. This is Cassie. Jeez. Oh, They're named already. And then her twin's her name? name is Kelly. <laughs> oh, what's she doing? Oh, was that scrapping a squirrel on it? Was he? Is he smoking no. a hookah? <laughs> 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 oh, they have a pot of smoke. I like what's that. he smoking there? <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like though. You know, like he's been parting. Right. He has been parting way really too much. <laughs> the big smoker. That's when you, you know, Chong. Yeah. Or something like that. He's like, got the munchies now. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's awesome. 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 It's There's just so much more to show that I just don't have the time for. As you can see, Janelle was a very active person. There was the tramp and tumble training and competitions. There was the soccer games and practice. I remember waiting outside getting eaten by mosquitoes as the coaches always seemed to let the kids go beyond their scheduled time. Then there was the cheer practice and competitions. Can't forget the dance recitals and classes. Of course, there was a lot of other performances held at school or other local groups. And of course, there was the always entertaining giggles and bits. Janelle also took several trips to California to scout out potential locations for college. There was two great family vacations that we took that we all enjoyed much. Then there were the Christmas Eves at my parents to open presents. We would then go to Aunt Char and Uncle Jim's house for dinner as well as to open up more presents. Christmas morning was just the four of us at our house. We would gather in the living room and open gifts together. I also recall as the years wore on, the earliness and excitement of Christmas morning started to wear off as sleeping became more important. Then there were birthday parties. I particularly remember Janelle's 13th birthday held at a bowling alley. The kids made one hell of a mess on that floor and I remember it was cake or something all over and Julie and I felt really bad. We had to start cleaning that up. Then it's senior prom, our last hoorah. In the end, 
I'm so very proud of you, Janelle, for all that you have accomplished. You're clearly a hard worker and a very honest person. And it's my opinion, you're going to go far in life if you continue to apply yourself as you did through high school. I'm going to give you the same advice I did with your brother four years ago, perhaps in slightly different words. Happiness in life is a byproduct of working towards goals that you believe in. Most people think happiness comes from actually achieving your goals, but that's not true. Find a career in something that you love and you'll find everything else in life becomes so much easier. If you set your mind to it, you can certainly achieve it. And this is another reason I'm so proud of you. You're taking a leap of faith and following what you've always wanted to do, to study performing arts in California. Now is your time to pursue that dream. And I'm so excited for you and what the future may hold. Janelle Morgan Tatina. Congratulations, Janelle. You've earned it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Best of luck in California and wherever life may take you. With love.